Yes! Yes! This is so exciting for you. We are here in New York City, the gateway to, I guess, Hoboken. And I'm going to change your life. I'm going to save you all. Because today, I'm going to introduce you to a new way to make money. A new way that's actually been there forever, but you've never grasped it. Let me start by asking, is anyone here rich? No. None of you are rich. Okay? You're all poor. At least compared to where you're going to be. Because okay? you're poor right now, but that's going to change. That has to change with the power of cheating. That's right. Today, I want to introduce you to the get rich cheating method. Now, I know many of you, I can, I can sense it. You're like, no, this, no, this isn't real. It's very real. Okay? Let's think about what goes on all the time. Everybody, imagine you open up a newspaper. I'm sure many of you have read about newspapers on the internet. <laughs> and you see these stories. A bailout executive gets $20 million severance. Steroid user gets $200 million salary. Kim Kardashian exists. <laughs> these folks were getting rich cheating. It wasn't hard work. It wasn't intelligence. It wasn't even luck. It was cheating. And I'm a student of history, so I don't just get taken easily by what happens now. I looked, and throughout history, there's been cheating for wealth. And I wanted to share a few important moments in the history of our world, and you'll see how the cheating was there. Darkness. God creates heaven and earth in six days, then submits an invoice for seven. The 1870s, Standard Oil is a great monopoly. Once Standard Oil is broken up, oil is never again a political or economic issue. 1929, John Steinbeck engineers the Great Depression in order to boost sales of his book, Grapes of Wrath. In a similar move in 1969, the moon landing is probably faked by the moon rock industry. Of course, we only discover their ruse when MTV lands on the real kick-ass moon. <laughs> Also in the 80s, this was actually a, a, a big moment. This, this changed my life. This changed the game. Enron was founded. Before, it was a little bit of cheating, but this just took it to a new level. Like Enron is, you know, everyone on the count of three, let's all say the word Enron and feel how it comes out. One, two, three. Enron. You feel that? Right? It's like Yahweh right? or, or Jesus right? or Reagan. It just rolls right off the tongue. These guys changed the game. They coined the phrase creative accounting. <laughs> it's better than making stuff up. <laughs> they actually had offshore subsidiaries they called Jedi, Raptor, and Chuko. Not only did they hide their losses and gin up fake profits, they stole from Spielberg. <laughs> that guy has lasers. <laughs> A couple other great moments in cheating. Uh, year 2000, votes counted in Florida for president. 2004, votes counted in Ohio for president. <laughs> And in 2011, you decide to change your life. You realize, hey, if all those folks have gotten rich cheating in the past, and all these people now are getting rich cheating now, why not me? It's a good question. Why not you? I've seen the light. And I'm here tonight because I want to shine that light on you. And I want to tell you, the get rich cheating method is so simple. All we're going to do is visualize our dreams then confront the obstacles to our dreams, and then using simple tools, achieve our dreams. Visualize, confront, achieve. Visualize, confront, achieve. It's like Tai Chi, but it actually works. <laughs> I want to start by visualizing our dreams, visualizing our desire, visualizing what we want, what we want. That is a powerful thing to want. Let's do this again. On the count of three, everyone, say the word want and really feel where it comes from. One, two, three. Want. Yeah, you feel that? It's deep. It's raw. It's guttural. It comes from here. Because to want is the basic human instinct. From the moment we're born as these tiny, vulnerable little creatures, oh, we want. We want to cry. We want to eat. We want to poop. And in this most pure stage, before we're polluted by society's rules, we see something we want, 
We cry out for it and we get it. We see it, we cry out, and we get it. Oh, I want some food. There's some food. Oh, I got the food. This is what we humans are meant to do. We're meant to see our desire, our want, acknowledge it to the universe, and then get it. Acknowledge it and get it. <laughs> what do we all really want? Think about what you want out of life and really break it down. We all really want is money. I mean, money can get you almost anything you desire. I mean, think about what's important in our society. You ever seen the show Lifestyles of the Poor and Decrepit? No. Oh. But you see money everywhere. Let's face the facts. Okay, life is, life is hard, right? Life can be terrifying and lonely. We're all smart people searching for answers, and we're all a little empty inside. But you can fill the hole in your soul with stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. right? But in order to get stuff, you need money. In order to get real money to really change your life, you need to cheat. Now, as part of this visualization, I want us all to think about the stuff we're going to get when we cheat millions of dollars. All right? I want us all to, uh, to group exercise. Everyone close their eyes. Take some deep cleansing breaths. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Feel the cheat flowing through you. Keep your eyes closed. Imagine you've just cheated $20 million. Boom, $20 million in your pocket. Now start thinking about what you're going to spend that $20 million on. Start imagining the stuff you're going to buy. Can you open your eyes? Sir, right here in the, in the blue check shirt, what are you going to spend $20 million on? Food. food? <laughs> Lots of food. Like, you're, are you a foodie? I will be. Yeah. <laughs> Fabergé egg omelets. Dodo bird filet. Right. Anybody else? How about a young lady? What are you going to spend $20 million on? Yeah. Clothes. Clothes. Nice. Like you can just buy the whole garment district? Yeah. Cool. Anybody else? In the red, what are you going to? Oh, right. You're eager. No. I want to hear it. I'd buy a jet. A jet? Nice. Would you, would you, have, would you fly yourself? What, did you have a comment on her jet? <laughs> buy her a jet, too, I think is the point. <laughs> See, you guys kind of get it. I like you guys. You guys like an advanced class. You understand, when you make the type of money I'm talking about, the world is your oyster, right? your mutant, oily, Gulf Coast oyster. Okay? <laughs> when you get millions, even billions of dollars through cheating, money's no longer for food and rent and love child support. Money can change your life. You can hire someone to answer your phone for you or hold it <laughs> out in the hallway. <laughs> Getting rich cheating can change your life. And look. I saw you all when you're coming in. I heard some of your conversations. You're all decent, hardworking, good people. But let's be honest, and not something I normally condone. <laughs> you see these other folks going around getting rich, cheating, like down on Wall Street or up with the Yankees, and it bothers you. But come on. If I held out a big bag of cash, you'd throw your firstborn out a car window to get it. Together, let's roll down that window. <laughs> okay? You see, this window is preventing you from achieving your dreams. It's preventing you from getting your want. And this window is fear. It's also fear. <laughs> <laughs> We're all afraid to get rich cheating. Right? We're all afraid. And I understand, but I want to tell you right now, that fear is the obstacle to your dreams. And I'm going to get rid of that for you. Let's think about this. Let's go through a, a thought exercise. What are we afraid of when it comes to getting rich cheating? What do we fear? What is the rational side of us? What is the pure economic actor that weighs the costs and benefits and the risk and the rewards fear about getting rich cheating? Anyone? Getting caught. Exactly. You might get caught. I mean, I don't know what the percent is. It's something between 6% and 96%. <laughs> Feeling guilty? Good. Your birthday. Let's start with getting caught. Right. There's a chance you'll get caught. But, and this is a big but, and I like big buts because they do not lie. <laughs> getting caught cheating is not the same as getting punished cheating. Think about what happens when the great cheaters you read about get caught. What do they do? They have to investigate themselves. Ooh. Or they go to a congressional hearing and wear a flag pin and they're fine. <laughs> Maybe you have a trial because your antidepressant makes kids grow a hand out of their forehead. Bribe the judge. 
Right, that doesn't work. Use some of the real defenses cheaters have actually used. You know, Jeff Skilling, CEO, uh, CEO of Enron, they read an email of his that said, shred the documents, they're on to us. And under oath, he said he was just being sarcastic. <laughs> that is genius. Right? You can do stuff like that too. You'll probably get off. If you don't, say you get convicted. Don't go to a country without an extradition treaty. Maybe pay a fine like Goldman Sachs. $500 million. They make that much money in the time it takes the rest of us to write a bad mortgage check. No. Or even jail. Isn't jail what we all kind of fear? Question. How many people responsible for who profited from the financial crisis are in jail? Zero. Even peripheral figures like Bernie Madoff. Yeah, he was sentenced to 150 years in jail. But Bernie Madoff stole $60 billion. Are you telling me Bernie Madoff can't afford a clone? Yeah, he can. Okay. He's not in jail. Okay. And you won't be in jail either. So the real fear, don't worry about it. Right? Oh, but Jeff, we heard that, that cheating is wrong. That we feel guilty. No. That is weak-minded programming shoved down your throat by a hippie culture that, that does not want you to succeed. All our life, we've been told what to do by these conceited, selfish, nanny robots. You're like, oh, do what we say. We know what is right and wrong. Oh, two and a half men is hilarious. <laughs> so is Whitney. You have got to shed those preconceived notions of right and wrong. You've got to shed the old you. Like the snake in the Garden of Eden, you must shed the restrictive skin that prevents you from reaching the fruit on the tree of knowledge and wealth. Okay? Shed your morals and ethics. Shed your concerns for friends and family. Shed everything but your laser-like focus on your dreams of making money. When you have enough money, you can buy morals and ethics. <laughs> you can buy friends and family. You can buy love and sex and extra levels of angry birds. In the real world, might makes right, and money makes might. We are plagued by this notion of guilt. Guilt. That is a self-created phenomenon. The only one judging you is you. So stop doing that. Do you think Rupert Murdoch judges himself? Do you think Angelo Mazzillo of Countrywide judges himself? Darth Vader? No, they don't do it. And I understand, you also want to be liked. Right? We all want to be liked. That's why we're on Facebook and Twitter and Prozac. You can't worry about being liked. You worry about other people, they don't worry about you. You know how they say there's no I in team? Well, guess what? There's no we in rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A rising tide may lift all boats, but a focused geyser of selfish cheating will blast your yacht to unknown heights. <laughs> if you want to get rich cheating, you simply cannot worry about other people. And more than that, more than not worrying about other people, you must exploit other people. Other people are the tool to achieve your dreams. I mean, think about all the exploitation that's gotten so many people rich. All right. Like, uh, anyone here? Um, Worried about unemployment, working hard, giving up rights because of 10%? Anybody here have a pension? One guy in the back, not for long. <laughs> Anyone here lose their home? No, there's still time. There's so many groups out there to exploit and that the cheaters have exploited. One of my uh, favorites, the one I think is going to be the next wave, is students. Student loans, next wave of great cheating. College is expensive. Student loan companies give kids 200 grand, high interest rates. Right? The moment they graduate, they shoot them a text, send them an email, call them up. When you move throughout your life, the first letter at your new apartment, student loan company. You cannot run from a student loan company. You cannot hide from a student loan company. Student loan companies will track you to the ends of the earth. I swear, if Osama bin Laden had a student loan, <laughs> we would have caught him September 12th. Now today, I've only had the opportunity to give you a little preview, a little bit about how to find your dream, overcome your fear, and then use people to achieve your dreams. This book with real words, this is going to save you. This is your new Bible. 
Okay? And just like that other Bible you find in the nightstand in the hotel room when you take off your ring to go to the bar and meet strange women. <laughs> this Bible is full of stories to inspire you. Right? The other Bible has like Noah and the ark and Job and whatever he did and the angry God with the lightning and the, ah, don't eat ham! <laughs> this one has stories of a modern era, modern fables, and there's always more coming out every day. And more than that, I want each of you to create your own cheating story. And it is so simple. Just obey your rational side. Ignore the direction of your moral compass. And you, too, can get rich cheating. Thank you all. God bless you. And God bless America. So uh, clearly very, uh, very important lesson right? that, that we, we need to uh, Think, think more carefully about what really drives us. Absolutely. Um, two, two questions. Yes. One is, um, what, what do you do when you know the specific people who are going to suffer from your cheating? Does it, does it matter? How do you overcome that particular barrier? Like mm. when you see somebody, you steal money directly from them. Is that well, like has anyone advanced, here, advanced reading? Has anyone here ever, uh, someone's begged for change and you pretend you don't see them? Just pretend they're not there. Just pretend. Okay. <laughs> And then uh, I, I know your wife is here. Yes. And, and how, how, how do you deal with uh, cheating in kind of personal life? So, so money is one thing, but what about cheating for other, other personal stuff? Well, that, that type of cheating has mostly just been for research. Um, <laughs> my belief is that you shouldn't do anything that doesn't lead to profit. So if you're going to cheat, it's got to be in a way that benefits you financially. Um, you know, obviously you could charge. I mean, that's the oldest profession. That's the first cheating. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of ways. I, I, if you're just doing it for some sort of kick, I don't know. I, I feel like you could spend your money better. <laughs> um, okay, and I think you have a little video you want oh, to show Oh, I do. Us? Yeah. Um, I have a, little, a short little video. We'll show that. Thank you all uh, for your time. But this is a little bit more about the book. The following is a paid advertisement for Jeff Chrysler's Get Rich Cheating. If there's one thing we could all use, it's more money. How would you like to make one million, two million, one point seven trillion dollars? Well now you can, and it is so easy. Thanks to Jeff Chrysler's Get Rich Cheating. This revolutionary book from HarperCollins teaches you proven schemes to get rich cheating. Learn from great cheaters like AIG. 165 million. Alex Rodriguez. 275 million. Rod Blagojevich. Amazing hair. I was just a nurse practitioner. Then I read Get Rich Cheating and learned about drug company kickbacks and Medicare fraud. Now I make over $400,000 a month. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome, Debbie. Hi, I'm Jeff Chrysler, and I want you to get rich cheating. There's been cheating for wealth ever since God created heaven and earth in six days, then submitted an invoice for seven. Everyone's doing it. Why not you? Get Rich Cheating will make you real rich, real soon, with real lessons from real cheaters. I lost my corporate job. But then, thanks to Get Rich Cheating, I started my own company. Then I raided the pension, filed for bankruptcy, got billions in the bailout, and I scored a $40 million severance. Way to go, Jeff. Tom, it was nothing. Look, I've cheated myself plenty rich, but now I want to share these easy, proven tricks. Get Rich Cheating has the plan for you, no matter what your passion. I like sports. Steroids. I get really excited about business. Stock options. I want to be a Hollywood star. Lip syncing and sex. Politics, Washington, D.C. Lobbying and sex. Wow, Jeff, those are some fantastic ideas. But this incredible book provides hundreds of easy scams for you to get rich cheating. Buy this book. If you buy it for two friends, and they buy it for two friends, and they buy it for two friends, and so on, and so on, and so on. <laughs> You'll get rich. Cheating. I guarantee it. 
Get Rich TV is available in fine bookstores and at GetRichTV.com for only $14.99. Or for the special one-time offer, $14.99. Order now.